Hey guys, welcome to day 10 of Tamadachi Life. And yeah, I can see that uh, you guys weren't really satisfied with just uh, Andre and I. So I think the big goal for today will be showing everybody else's QR code. And uh, I'm not sure how much time that'll take up, um, so I'm not quite sure how much will get accomplished. But we do have a lot of uh, <laughs> residents, that's for sure. So let's just go down the list. So create the QR codes. And, well, here's Dr. Wiley. There he is. Some of these won't be too exciting because I really haven't done much with them. But, you know, you guys have been watching this for a while now and really enjoy this. And, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm happy that you guys enjoyed this uh, uh, journal so much. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's been fun. It's been definitely educational to how uh, Tamadachi plays. It, it, it really is. It's been... I, I don't know if I... I think doing this for you guys actually increased my enjoyment a bit. Just interacting with everybody and uh, seeing how it works. And I think that that is a testament. I mean, that's why the Street Pass is so important. Um, just because we do, you know, people are interacting, they're sharing, their me's are showing up. And it's fun to just see what happens in the game. And yeah, it's it's just really cool. Um, ooh, Captain Ninja Captain Falcon. That's a good one. <laughs> There's his QR code. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 been definitely interesting uh, going through this game with you guys. And, uh, I don't know, I know I know a lot of you still have a ton of requests for even more Miis. But, yeah, I think I've capped out at this many. And, you know, that's, that's all the more reason to add them into your game. And experience how they will act there. And, yeah... And even you guys who hated the fact that I named Mario, Mar uh, gave Mario the last name of Mario, can change his last name, hopefully, uh, and <laughs> fix that little problem. I don't know what you'd give his nickname, I mean, his last name otherwise. It was just sort of a dumb joke. <laughs> Same with the, you know, Daisy, Sarasaland, you know, just naming after place she's from. So, you know, never took it too seriously. <laughs> That's the thing. Oh boy, oh boy. So of course we got Doc in here who is not as much of a fan of chocolate as I would have thought. Go figure. Um, and I did see everybody's, you know, the, the uh, can explanation that Ganondorf's last name is Dragmire, which I remember hearing that somewhere. I can't remember exactly where. Um, but as soon as I heard it, I, I believed you guys. I mean, I knew that was a thing. Um, yeah, so it, 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 it's interesting, but uh, oh yeah, my uh, uh, tank top wearing happy mask salesman. For some reason, that's just, I don't know, <laughs> kind of scary. <laughs> Scarier, I guess, would be the uh, proper way for it. Oh boy, but um, yeah, exciting gameplay, QR codes, good stuff. Uh, it, took me, it took me a while to get all this stuff in, and fortunately, you guys don't have to worry quite so much about the work, because I had to create personalities and uh, everything else. Now, of course, you can modify the personalities to better, you know, better fit them in your eyes, but at least, the, you know, most of the work is done, and if you just want to take them straight from me, there you go. And what I noticed from uh, Josh, whenever we got his me, which, here you guys go, uh, go, his QR, QR code, the QR code, I believe, also contains their apartment and clothes, because obviously these are different clothes that he, you know, his me wouldn't wear normally, uh, so he definitely got him from Tamadachi, and plus he came with the bana banana hat, so that's pretty cool that they, you can do that sort of thing. Anyway, let's get Kyrie out there, too. And, uh, yeah, now you guys can do all the songs that you wanted me to do and see the relationships and, yeah, just get out there and, you know, there's so much to do and to see and to really test out. And, you know, even if you get tired of it after a while, it does have the ability, you know, you can just sort of set it aside, come back to it later. No big deal. Um, and I think that, you know, I really appreciate that because I haven't played Animal Crossing in... <sighs> probably more than nine probably nine months or so i'm afraid to go back to it because <laughs> i can only imagine what the state of that town is like so yeah <laughs> not that i have the time to uh 
really uh, spend on uh, uh, Animal Crossing. I have so many other games to play. I'm hoping the chance to uh, get through um, uh, some of the DS games I haven't had a chance to beat yet that I own. Uh, namely, Professor the new Professor Layton game, which I bought and I haven't even touched yet. I need to do that. I've Sadly enough, I've played a bit of Fire Emblem, but I've never beaten it, so that'd be another good choice for me to play on the plane, because I do have a uh, very long trip. <laughs> I think it's going to be um, a good seven hours of traveling on... Uh, seven hours of traveling tomorrow, which that'll be fun. And then, of course, it'll be the drive down to... Uh, I guess I say tomorrow, but I guess this will be uploaded, will be uploaded tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, if you can't tell by now, I'm doing these ahead of time because I will not have the time to do them. So all the all the the next couple journals that you're seeing are all, are all being done pretty much one after the other. So it's hard to have any real progress as far as what you guys wanted to see. But, you know, I, I still wanted to show off as much as I can. Hopefully we'll find some really cool stuff. I'm, I'm still really hoping that I'll find somebody that just hates a certain food and you guys get to see that. Um... Because, you know, it's it's amazing. <laughs> uh, you know, that's sort of thing. But, yeah, I guess it's just a lot of traveling in my future before E3. Um, you know, it's what you got to do. <laughs> and it'll be good to, you know, see, you know, actually be good to hang out with Andre and Tom and uh, Ash and all them. So that'll be that'll be a good time. I'm, lo I'm really looking forward to E3. Uh, I think it'll be a good time. And, of course, playing out, playing all the games. I... Of course, saw the news that as soon as we put the E3 news up, that uh, oh, I think I don't didn't leave Min in there up there for too long, <laughs> too busy talking. Uh, that the news that there really won't be that new and much new information from Final Fantasy 15 or Kingdom Hearts 3, which boy is that a bummer. I, I mean, I wasn't expecting any kind of playable demo or anything from either either of them, but you know, I would have liked to see more. I, mean, I always want to see more. <laughs> Oh boy, but eh, what are you gonna do? You just you go and see what's there, and don't worry too much if what you want to be there is not there. Just you can't help it. <laughs> oh boy, I've, you kind of lose track of how many me's you have. I believe the total amount is forty-eight. And I'm only missing four apartments, so there are forty-four me's on this island. That's a crazy amount when you really think about it. Oh boy. We're only at the end. Why are you guys still listening to me talk? You could be just going along the bar and uh, getting the QR codes and getting doing all that, but no, you're listening to me talk, so I gotta think of other stuff to say. What other stuff to say? Well, yeah, I did see a lot of people ask for Paula and Pooh and Jeff to be included in here with Ness and even Lucas, but, you know, I just... I wanted to get a little bit of variety and I definitely wanted to get more females. I just... I don't have as much familiarity with... Uh, Earthbound as I should. I have it on the virtual console, but yet again, it's a matter of time to actually try to play the games. And that's the tricky part there, is that, uh, you know, finding time to play the game, uh, older games. New games, you know, you just get them as you go, like with Tamadachi, but then you, you gotta move on to the next as soon as it's out, so... It's a little nuts. Uh, but I love it. It's fun. I enjoy doing this for you guys. It's it's a good time. It's 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 good to see everybody really enjoying this stuff, and it really does make it fun. Wouldn't trade this for anything. Let's get Pit out there. <laughs> oh, of course we gotta get Reggie. There's your Reggie in his suit. And he's a mean one. He's the one that, you know, he was the one that offered up the tissues and, uh, you know, basically giving me a hard time at all times. Now, I wonder if the uh, the uh, the songs I created for him will also transfer over. So if you get Luigi, maybe uh, maybe you'll get the, uh, uh, yeah, the Luigi's Ballad as well. And if you get both My Mario and Luigi, you get the, uh, um, yeah, the Mario Brothers rap that I decided to make exclusive for um, uh, the review, which 
I, I, de I definitely I didn't want to use an old one. I wanted to. Oh shoot! I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's get Mega Man's back in here. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to have more, ex uh, you know, something exclusive, something you guys that have been paying attention to this journal would catch and enjoy, and all that good stuff. It's uh, you know, good times, good times. All right, there's a ton of there's rocks. That's good. Um, oh boy, we're not even close. We're not even gonna get through all the R's. I didn't realize I had this many R's. Um. Oh, I'm 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 in a I'm in a daze. It's been a long guy, day, guys. Uh, anyway, with roll, uh, just a little, interesting little side note. I pulled a me, or I guess I created her me, based off her Mega Man Eight design rather than the Mega Man, uh, you know one through seven I guess it would be just because I think uh, her hair is much more interesting this way I don't know that I don't know it seems boring to just have it straight across so that's why I did that for roll just a little bit of trivia I guess uh, and of course Rosalina <laughs> but all right there's that we're getting there guys maybe not <laughs> Oh boy, but uh, what else to talk about? Hmm. Well, I've definitely enjoyed torturing Andre, and that is something fun. It's like it's not even torture; it's just having fun at their expense. And you know, doing all this different stuff to Andre has been a lot of fun. And I don't know; I think you guys enjoyed it too. Definitely, you know, gave a target. <laughs> uh. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm definitely hoping, I'm de definitely seeing a lot of you guys saying that you've picked up Tamodachi Life, uh, I guess it would be yesterday now, and uh, enjoying it. And I'm really glad about that. I'm real, uh, you know, it's always nice when you can, when you think something, if you think somebody will like something and you, you recommend it and they actually do like it, because it's hard to account for taste. Everybody has very different tastes. And I could love one thing, and somebody else could completely hate it. And that's, you know, that's life. You can't really, you know, change it. You can't uh, begrudge them for it. You just got to go with what they like. And, you know, that's that's all that matters. I mean, that's, that's, that's the thing. You just create, and that's the thing. I'm philosophizing now. Oh, boy, do I need to get through these QR codes. <laughs> oh, boy. You guys have been listening to me ramble. And, uh... Yeah, <laughs> I apologize for that. Oh, you poor people. I don't even have a subject. I'm just trying to think of stuff to say about Tamodachi. Um, I, I really do think there's a lot of gameplay here. Just, you know, even just giving every piece of food to every me that you have, collecting all the treasures, uh, there, there definitely seems to be enough in this game to last you a while, plus just all these all the different sequences that can happen. And, yeah, I just, I don't know, you just have all these different things that can happen, and I think really give this game a bit of uh, longevity. And uh, I, I, I really do think this is a great game for people who do enjoy life sims. And even, you know, like I said, I'm not, like I said in the review, I'm not a big life sim person, but even I got, you know, enjoyment out of this. Um... And I think the greatest accomplishment this thing, this, this, the Tamadachi does, is give the Miis a personality. And that's something I felt for a while they desperately needed. They were just sort of always there, staring, watching. <laughs> you know, it's, it, it's, it's it, kind of creepy when you really think about it. Oh, uh, but anyway, we're finally at Zelda. We made it. That only took 15 minutes. 14 minutes, whatever. <laughs> all right, so there's all the QR codes. Um, and just for a little hand, you know, idea of like, in the amount of days that I've played this, I've only collected 45 of 231 different foods. I've only collected 21 of 409 different types of clothing, but if you add in all the different colors, there's almost 3,200 uh, different types of clothing. Um, hats, you know, same thing, 153 different hats with almost you know, over a thousand different colors, 100, 102 different interiors, uh, got all the goods, so there we go, all that good stuff, and we'll try out some of these goods, like the age of Matic and the, uh, you know, 
Oh, shoot, I forgot the uh, missed one. Shoot. <laughs> and, of course, the treasures, which I got 29 of the uh, 152. So, not quite sure what the treasures do. Oh, yeah, I can sell them, but why would I want to do that, Day? I mean, how could I ever give up my wooden spoon and my whoop whoopee cushion? There's still no special foods yet. I'm not quite sure how to get those, but, you know. That's for discovery. Anyway... Speaking of which, let's go check out this uh, Age of Matt. Well, I see somebody wants to meet somebody else, and that's always good. So let's get, let's get some relationships going. All right, Midna, time for you to meet somebody. Stop. Stop phasing your head through the floor. <laughs> hey. All right, Midna, what's up? I want to be friends with Samus. Sure, go for it. What should I talk about to get along with her? Um, gossip. Thanks for the advice. I don't know if I she's up for gossip or right not, now. but I, I always choose something funny, so I wanted to choose something different. I don't know why, but I really like Samus in that hat. I think it works for her, honestly. Look up, Midna. You're you're not really looking at Samus. You just you, look up. Don't don't stay down at her feet. Hi. <laughs> there we go. Went great. It worked. We are friends now thanks to you. Oh, I do what I can. <laughs> Here, I want you to have this. Ooh, goodies. And another music box. I get a lot of music boxes. Anyway, we need to have a kid. Let's see. Who did I classify as a kid? I believe I classified Sora as a kid. Which I've done a lot with him, so let's actually go to Kairi, but let's see. I can't see if he's a kid or not. <laughs> I think I can. But anyway, let's let's go. Let's bug Kyrie. Hey, -o. hey -o. Let's see. Let's give her the age of Matic for kids who want to be adults. Please turn me into a grown up. Okay. Let's give it a try. She just <laughs> okay. That was exciting. She got taller. <laughs> I'm going to start acting like a real grown up now. Okay. There you go. Cause that I I think. <laughs> yeah, this is grown up life. <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about. You wouldn't expect one from, much from aging somebody up, but then they go the extra step and really show what you can do uh, with these ideas. <laughs> so adorable. Thanks. I feel so responsible and tall. I wonder if there's... Does she stay growing up or is she going to shrink back down? I have no idea. Anyway. I think you guys know what this means. We gotta... We gotta make somebody young. And, well... We have a guinea pig. Might as well use him. <laughs> Where is... There it is. The kid o -matic. Andre's gonna be a little kid. Please turn me into a kid again. Oh, I will. This should be fun. <laughs> little kid Andre. I'm a kid again. I can't believe it. <laughs> this is gonna be so fun. Oh, he fell. Andre. Come on. Get up there. <laughs> uh oh he's gonna fall in the puddle you just know it no he's staring at the puddle oh he's gonna okay splashing it there that works <laughs> andre's a rambunctious little tyke isn't he Ooh, that's not a bad pillow for it come on you need to have like a DS or something in there. Not a flashlight. Get a DS in there. Have some fun. <laughs> I 
Same. I feel so young and His head is so big. Huh. That's funny. As much as we, because we've done all this stuff to him, he also has like the most uh, stuff. <laughs> the biggest happiness. Um, what do we want to give him next? Let's give him a, a metal detector. I'm curious about it. Okay then. We might see him on the beach using that. That'd be my guess. Anyway, I think that about covers it for this episode of, I guess, yeah, this episode of uh, the Tomodachi Life Journal. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys enjoyed all those QR codes. And for those who weren't interested in the QR codes, I uh, hope my rambling didn't bore you too much. So we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Bye.